Hello everyone, I'm Rina Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move a mailbox from one database to the other. To do that, as you see over here, I'm on my Exchange Management Console. If you go under Recipient Configuration, and if you click on Mailbox, you'll see all your mailboxes. So for this demonstration, I'll move um, Tom Fernandez's account. So to do that, if you just right click on the mailbox and over here you see two uh, options, new local move request and new remote move request. Obviously remote is uh, for a remote server. So you're moving, you'll be moving your mailbox to a database which is located on a remote server, uh, which I don't really have on my environment. I just got one local server. So I'll move to the local server, okay? So you click on move and your data uh, mailbox has been selected. Over here at the bottom, you need to select your target mailbox database. To do that, if you browse, and that's gonna show you all your mailboxes. Another thing that you need to check is, Tom Fernandez is at the moment in DB1. So we want to move him from DB1 to DB2, okay? Then you select DB2, the um, database where you want to move and click OK. DB2 has been selected as a target mailbox database. Click Next. It's then going to ask you a few uh, settings. Basically what it's going to do over here is it's asking you if, if the server finds some corrupt um, mails inside the mailbox. Do you want the mailbox to skip the move or else you can what you can do is you can uh, click on skip the corrupted messages and you can assign how many messages you would like to skip say suppose I say 15 okay if if the mailbox has 15 corrupted messages it will still move uh, the mailbox from one database to the other but if it has anything more than 15 it's not going to move okay and you click next it's then going to give you the summary okay if you are happy with that just click on new and as you see over here one successful zero failed which means the data uh, the mailbox has been moved to the new database db2 click on finish and that's it the database now is now been moved i hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching